Hello everybody, Linda here with Beginner's Mind, Art Mind. I had an idea that I'm going to experiment with and that was to post a very short studio tip video on the one or two Tuesdays a month, depending on how much interest there is. So if this is something that interests you, let me know in the comments and I will keep making them. So here is the first Studio Tip Tuesday. Enjoy the video. If you've seen my video on YouTube about how to fill and maintain this little trance and airtight palette, then you will have seen that I made this color chart and swatched out the colors that I was putting. Another reason that this is really useful is when it comes time to refill your palette. I've been out on a few plein air painting sessions now and there's quite a few of these colors that need to be refreshed. They're getting quite low. As a matter of fact, I've already refreshed the yellows a couple of times. But this helps me identify the blues, which the dark colors can get confusing in the palette. So this just makes it super easy for me to look down and see what order my blues were in when I'm refilling, and, and my browns too, when I'm refilling the palette. So what I do is I just take my vinegar and distilled water mix and spray everything down. And I have already gone through with a brush and cleaned out most of the polluted paint. And I may get out a little more. And then I'll take the toothpick like you saw in the other video. And I will mix the distilled water and vinegar in with what's left in my palette. And then I'll take some more paint more of the M gram gouache and I will top it off. And um, then when I do that, I will mix that all together and give it another squirt of the distilled water and vinegar. And then I'll put the cap back on and I'm ready to go for my next plein air session. So really um, think about when you're filling your palette that making a little list of the colors and maybe even a swatch makes things super easy when you go to refill it. Okay, so I have freshened my Transcend palette up and it's ready to go. I went by the color chart that I told you about earlier before I even started filling more paints on top of the paints that were already in there. I sprayed it with distilled water and vinegar, gave it a little mix with some toothpicks, and then I topped it off with new color. And then I sprayed it again with the distilled water and vinegar and mixed everything up, all the layers up in the vinegar and distilled water. And it is set to go and it has not mold, molded as long as I use it this way. And I mean, I do use my palette. If I stuck this away in the dark somewhere, I don't know how long it would last without molding, but I do take it outside in the bright sunshine and do plein air painting and I do not have a problem with mold as long as I use distilled water and vinegar to spray it down frequently. And that's what I use when I spray it down outside too while I'm painting. So there it is, nice and neat and clean and ready to go on my next plein air adventure. One other thing I did forget to mention is that when you fill this, you do not want to overfill your um, wells because you will make a mess of your uh, silicone gasket and things will spill over. Also, when I refresh it like this and my paints are very wet and juicy, I let it sit for a little bit before I tip it. So I will let this sit and let everything settle and gel up before I stick it back in my plein air box and go carrying it around. Ideally, I do this a day or two or more before I have a plein air painting trip planned so that everything can just sort of settle. Okay, I think that is it. I hope you found this studio tip helpful.